Hippolys. Hippolys, ancient Greek, Pi Pi Alpha Lambda Omicron Sigma, was a Greek navigator and merchant who probably lived in the 1st century BCE. He is sometimes conjectured to have been the captain of the Greek explorer Eudixus of Sisychus ship. The writer of the Periplus of the Era 3 and C credited Hippolys with discovering the direct route from the Red Sea to India over the Indian Ocean by plotting the scheme of the sea and the correct location of the trade ports along the Indian coast. Pliny the Elder claimed that Hippolys discovered not the route but the monsoon wind also called Hippolys, the southwest monsoon wind. Most historians have tried to reconcile the reports by stating that knowledge of the monsoon winds was necessary to use the direct route, but the historian Andre Chernia explains that Pliny's connection between the wind and the navigator was based on common pronunciation. In the Hellenistic era the name of the wind was written as Hippolys, only in Roman times the spelling Hippolys came in use. The wind had already been known in Hellenistic times and had before been used by Himyarite, Southern Arabian Semites, and Indian sailors to cross the Indian Ocean. To understand the importance of Hippolys' discovery we have to know that before him Greek geographers thought that the Indian coast stretched from west to east. Hippolys was probably the first, in the west, to recognize the north-south direction of India's west coast. Only someone who has this insight will think crossing the Indian Ocean might be a faster way to South India than following the coastline. The use of Hippolys' direct route greatly contributed to the prosperity of trade contacts between the Roman province of Egyptus and India from the 1st century BCE onwards. From Red Sea ports like Berenice large ships crossed the Indian Ocean to the Tamil kingdoms of the Pandyas, Cholas and Cheras in present-day Kerala and Tamil Nadu. In modern times a crater on the moon was named after the navigator. He is also a prominent character in L. Sprague de Camp's novel about Eudixus, The Golden Wind.